Well, howdy everybody. Hey, this is Richard with Rip One Outdoors. Hey, we got a brand new bike here we want to uh, showcase for you today on our channel. This bike was sent to me by the company Ansky. And this is the Ansky E300. They refer to it as the Explorer. I have found out through some testing that I've done with it, this, this bike packs the sporty performance and the comfort of some of your higher end bikes. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't wanna miss this one. I won't tell you the price because prices are subject to change. But what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna ask you to do is to go down in my video description, there's gonna be an Amazon link there to this Ansky E300. And hey, check it out. Check all the specs, all the features, all the details about it. Look at the price. And the price, it's going to have a coupon there, and it's also going to have a shipping price. So make sure you take all that in consideration. But I can tell you this, this price is a very attractive price for the category of the bike that you're looking at here. i tell you what we're going to do. We're not going to offer up a unboxing and an assembly. I can tell you about the unboxing. The unboxing was relatively simple. It came in a very robust box. And when you open the top of the box, everything was well protected and packaged there. And I didn't do an assembly video because there's nothing to assemble. Uh, it, the only thing I had to assemble was put two pedals on. Hey, if you can put pedals on, you don't need, you don't need the assembly video for this one right here. Here's what we're gonna do, y'all. We're gonna go out on the road and do some testing. We got a little errand we need to run at the bank, okay? So y'all welcome to ride along with me. We'll stop along the way over there somewhere and we'll show you some of the specs and features of it, tell you a little bit more about this bike. Y'all grab something and hang on. Let's go out on the road and let's test out the Ansky E300, the Explorer. We'll see y'all out there. Alright y'all, let's go ride with the Ansky. Folks that normally watch my channel, watch my bike reviews and all, they know where I'm at. Hey, I can leave my house, ride down this little beautiful country road right here, and we can run up to buy Walmart and uh, a bunch of businesses up that way, that's where my bank's there. I felt like that would be a good ride to test out the Ansky E300. It is the Explorer. I like the fact that it comes with a little phone holder there. That's, that's pretty nifty. I've got the speedometer app pulled up on my phone. It looks like it is dead even with what the display says. Now, I, I did go into the settings and I'll try, I'll try to do a little video on that and show y'all how you can adjust the uh, settings on inside the display there. I'll try to show y'all a few things about that, but it had the wheel size set at 24 inches. Well, if you if you don't change that, that's going to that's gonna skew off your uh, numbers that you're reading there. So I changed that back to 20 and look at it. It's 17, 17, 18, 17. Yeah, it's dead, it's dead even with it now. Yeah, we'll try to get up here somewhere where we can stop and we'll show y'all a few, a few of the uh, features that about the bike, some that catches my eye. What a beautiful sunny day, y'all. It's got to be in the 70s, about 74 degrees. A beautiful day. What a great day to be out riding, riding this new Ansky. It's a foldable bike portable. I'm, I'm just going to think that uh, for you folks that may be on RVs, you folks, folks that just want to, hey, throw your bike in the car and run down to the local park and ride around, maybe do some circles and what have you in the park, I think this little bike would be perfect for you. 
it's a fat tire bike and I'm gonna tell y'all something my viewers know this is the roughest this is the roughest road in the south right here but you know what we got we got some suspension on the front of the bike that's doing a great job and then big old uh, them big old soft and spongy fat tires they take a lot of the bumps and and uh, knocks out of this road too I put me a bar in mirror on the left over there just for for my safety I tell you what let's do let's go down let's go down this little country road we'll get down here and we'll maybe find a place we can talk to you about the bike a little bit yeah check it out everybody it's turning green of course we are in South Mississippi for some of you folks that don't know y'all this is about as good a place as any right here Got them big old giant live oak trees right there. Let's stop for just a minute and let's show you a few things about the bike. Well, I said this was as good a place as any and then, then I look over here and there's a, a snake slithered off of the side of the hill there, but that's okay. Maybe he won't bother us. He may like the bike, who knows. Start up here on the handlebars. That's that pretty popular little uh, rubber grip that I like. It's got that little contour right there, a little sweet. And there's your uh, your twist throttle. It's got a Wuxing brakes on it. Those are mechanical brakes. Shimano seven speed shifter. Hey, we see those all the time. There's that little phone holder. Isn't that cute? The well, phone holder they sent me with the bike. I think everybody gets that. Uh, let me turn it on. Y'all see that display? It's a pretty color display, y'all. Uh, pretty much pretty much the standard display though I mean you can you got on your control pad here you got your information button you got plus minus uh, power and then turn your headlight on over here on the right and you can take that information and you can you can uh, scroll between your trip and uh, your you know max speed and time and everything so yeah pretty much standard Pretty much a standard display we're used to seeing. As I might have mentioned, I put a bell on here. Yeah, this bike's got turn signals on it. Left turn, right turn. Can't see it, I tried looking y'all in the sunlight, you can't see it, but maybe I can show y'all that in the shed or something or another. Little electric horn. So, I guess I said it didn't have a beep. I said it didn't have a bell. Well, it has an electric horn, so that's, that's nice. Uh, I put a bar in mirror on here. Y'all look at the pollen falling everywhere. Nice little spot LED light. Uh, suspension fork would lock out and adjust. 160 millimeter brake rotors. As we already mentioned, Wuxing mechanical brakes. They're a bit spongy, but y'all I think they're gonna be better once they get broke in some good. Look at that mag wheel, huh? Isn't a mag wheel look nice? CST BFT 20 by four inch fat tires. Got a nice little reflector, that's a nice touch. Folding pedals. It'd be good for hauling them in the RVs or in the back of your car, in the cooter hull of your car. And again, a 160 millimeter brake rotor in the back. Nice aluminum rack back here, y'all. I like that. There's your tail light, brake light, and turn signals. Turning derailleur. It's got a nice little touch there for a derailleur protector bar. There's your 500 watt brushless hub motor, and it's got 850 peak watts. This is a 1428 Shimano freewheel. Chain ring up front, I'm not sure what the tooth count is, but I'll, do a, I'll put a graphic on the screen when I get that counted up and find out what that is. But it does have a protector on the back as well as the front here to keep the chain from falling off. It does have a cadence sensor. Here's your seat so far. I found the seat to be pretty doggone comfortable. Check out the length of that seat post, y'all. That's a good 22 inches long. That's 33.9 millimeters by 530 millimeters long. Here's your battery up in here. Let's see if we can show y'all that right there. Of course, it's held in place up in here with the lock on the key right here. Lock it and unlock it. You have, to, you have to unlock it to get it to uh, power up. But that's the battery right there. It's 48 volt, 
13.4 amp hour battery. And we'll shut it back. We'll flip our little lock over. Y'all, that's just as simple as it gets right there. Okay, I'll show you quickly how the how the handlebar pops down there if you want to store it or haul it in your truck. Just like that. Just that easy. Pop it back up. Okay. You can adjust your handlebar length right here. I like mine adjusted about like that right there. Okay, let's get took off again. Okay, y'all, let's talk about the range. This bike is stated at, I believe it's 32 to 50 miles. And you know what I always say about the range? Uh, that's, gonna, that's gonna all depend on who's riding it, what size you are, uh, the conditions, whether it's windy going into a headwind, depends a lot on the, the air pressure in your tires. A lot of factors play into effect there. But the main thing I think is, is the, is the pedal assist that you're riding it in. Whether you're pedaling more than throttling, all that's gonna have a lot of things to do with it. I'll tell you my experience based on other 13.4 batteries that I have in other bikes and similar to this. But I'm gonna say probably 25 miles would be my range for the way I ride a bike, which to me, that's great. Okay, y'all, let's check some pedal assist settings now. Get my speedometer back up. Speedometer. Okay, start out in pedal assist one. Pedal assist one is going to get me about eight, nine miles per hour, okay? Pedaling only. Let's bump it up to two. Hey, two's done bought me about 11 and a half. Hit three. Pedal assist three. That's got me to about 16 and a half miles per hour. Let's hit four. That's 21. Let's go to five. Pedaling real fast now. Not ghost pedaling, but pedaling fast. I'm gonna say 24. 24 mile per hour, that's pedal assist five. Hey, the bike is only listed as a 20 mile per hour bike. So that's pretty good. Look at old glory right yonder, y'all. Ain't that, that a marvelous sight? Let's give her a salute. Thank you to the people that make that happen. Y'all, I tell you what. The first thing I look at when I'm reviewing a bike is I look at comfort. Ooh, what a pretty blue on that truck. That's like the pretty blue that's on this bike. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. Y'all look at what a pretty day it is. Where could, where would else would we want to be? We fixing to run in here behind Walmart. And we just gonna rip it on over to the bank. I tell you what, I got a bike called the Big Ripper. I think I'm gonna call this one the Little Ripper. Because this thing will rip. You know what I'm saying? It's 
run in here behind while Martin we're gonna run up through the old uh, place where they loading the groceries into the cars. Slow down a little bit there. Ain't nobody got to wait on me, y'all. This thing gets you out of Dodge, I guarantee you. It's got the, it's got the power. Now, y'all, we don't have no heels around here to do any tests with. Hey, I let raise my left arm. I forgot I had my turn signal, but I don't know how easy you would see the turn signal in the daylight hours or not. But it's got them. That's good to know. Where did I tell y'all we was going? We going to the bank. And here's what we do. We run right down this little grassy area here. Yeah, for 500 watts, y'all. The power this thing has showed me, it's almost like you're riding a 750 watt motor. So I don't know about that. It's got plenty. The mechanical brakes, y'all, I'll just be honest with you, they're spongy a little bit, but they stop me, okay? You ain't gotta worry about that, they'll stop you. Okay, y'all, we'll get back with you in a few minutes. Okay, y'all, we're back out rolling again. Got us a little bit of money out of the bank. Y'all remember I mentioned a while ago comfort? Let me tell you something. I have yet to receive a bike except for one trike that I got. Won't call a name. But I got one trike that I really love, the stock seat that came from the factory on it. Now I'm not going to bird turd y'all, y'all know that. But I'm going to tell you, this seat is really comfortable. It's not a wide seat, it's, a, it's, it's more of a narrow seat but it has really got some cushion on it that I like. Let's cut and run down through Walmart here. Always mindful of people backing out and pulling out in front of us and stuff like that. The Little Ripper, how y'all like that? Them CST tires have got a lot of grip. See it? I'm on this little hill here. It stopped me real good right there. All right, let's go. We'll get up here out of the traffic, y'all. We're gonna do a throttle test, okay? So we'll get back, we'll get up with y'all up there about the VFW somewhere. All right, y'all, here we are on Airport Road. We're gonna do a throttle only test on this smooth asphalt. So what happens if we put it in pedal assist one and hit the throttle? Four point six mile per hour. Okay, so the throttle is bound to the pedal assist, okay? Can we change that? We're gonna look into that. If we can, I'll let y'all know in a graphic. So let's just, Ben, this is gonna do the 
throttle based on the pedal assist. Let's just bump it on up to five. All right, here, here we go. Y'all ready? Hang on. All right, I said throttle only and here I am pedaling, but here we are, throttle only. GPS speedometer on the right, display speedometer on the left. I don't know y'all, for a bike that they state only gets 20 mile per hour, look at it. We're already up to 23. Will it go more? Kind of on flat land here, really not a hill or anything really, you know. 25. I'd say that's ripping, y'all. Twenty-six. All right, y'all, that concludes that test. And I'm gonna tell you, very, very pleased with it. For a bike that they say will only get you 20 mile per hour and it does 26. Hey. Down here on, towards Louisiana, they call that land, yeah. That's getting a little more than what you bargain for. Look what a beautiful day, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Didn't want to pull out in front of him, that's for sure. Okay, y'all, here we come to the sign off. I tell you what, we consider ourselves fortunate to be able to bring you the Ansky E300, and that's the Explorer 300. Look down there in my video description, there's gonna be an Amazon link there. That's where you can go and check out this bike and even, and even uh, make your purchase there. So also look for any coupons that might be there save you a hundred dollars or so whatever whatever it may be i highly recommend this bike it's a very nice bike and you get a lot of bike for the money here we're going to put our email down in the lower left corner of your screen there if you got any questions about the bike hey drop us an email we'll be glad to get back with you just as soon as we can if we can't help you i'll find somebody that can Last but not least, y'all, if you find any value in this video, hey, ask y'all if you will, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell notification. And y'all know how it is until we see y'all again out here on the road somewhere. This is old Rip One from Rip One Outdoors. We bid y'all a blessed day.